This is the patient with pain when he came to me. This is the patient after we treated him. He was very resistant to my treatment, so I gave him seven treatments. Normally I don't do that many treatments. But now you've seen it. I just want to show you again what we do. Remember that the tendon bone intersection is the painful area, so don't start there. Ne ott kezdjünk, ezt még egyszer hangsúlyozza, ahol az átmenet van, illetve hogy a tapadás van. The higher energy you can give, the better effect. Igen, de még mindegy ott tartó. One hitch is missing. Yeah. And remember, remember the DDXs. Remember that there is differential diagnosis in this area. That is very important. That you cannot start treating a partial rupture and expect it to be better. What is the what is the outcome for Achilles tendinopathy? Well, it is quite good. Actually, this is the minute, the times of minute that they could run with without treatment. Yeah, this is pre-treatment. They could run in in general in 14 minutes. After the second treatment, third treatment, fourth treatment, fifth treatment, and then the following weeks there. Yeah. So this is the the minutes that they could run after they have been treated. You see that? As a as a as in your belly kitchen, which is a key foot that shows that the results are going to be good. The results are going to be good. You see, we have a little decrease in 52. Yeah, and we have a little decrease in 52. Yeah, and we have a little decrease in 52. Yeah, and we have a little decrease in 52. Yeah, and we have a little decrease in 52. They feel so good that they start running too much. Then we start getting active in sport, and then we start getting more and more excited about it. This is the one-year result. The follow-up one year, 60% is totally pain-free. 12.5% is better, and 27% is unchanged. Teljes fájdalom mentesség, 60 százalék, hogy a jobb eredmény az 12 és fél, és a változatlan az jó, és arra csúnyán legyünk köszönve 27 és fél. Still, still a pretty good outcome. One year after, five treatments, isn't it? This is highly active people we're talking about here. Thank you. De lehet fogja ezt kommentálni, mert ő beszél erről majd, ha minden igaz, de nekem mondjuk kicsit nagyobb a, tehát kicsit ezzel boldogulunk itt az a vileszekkel. That's because we had to jump a little bit. Remember that the indications has to be right. Otherwise it will not help. You see that? Do you see anything wrong here? This is very good. This is very good, but it is, it's not. It's not going to save the patient. Patella syndrome or jumbo's knee here. I want to show you this one because this is one. If you work within sports, you will see this. It's 100% sure that you will see this. Sportolokkal foglalkozok, hogy szinte százszerzék vagy találkozol a problémával. It is insertion endopathies of the ligament patella in 44%. We see it in uh, in highly active people who are doing a lot of jumping. Basket players, volleyball players are typical, and we have a volleyball player here today here. Yeah. So it's yeah. very very good. <laughs> we have a typical 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 guy here. So we will try and, uh, and treat him a little bit. I'll just go through a little bit. Just come on. <coughs> you can sit next to us. You you can get this. In jumper's knee, pain is often seen at the tip of the patella. Tehát a patella a csúcsnál uh, fogjuk leginkább tapasztalni. The base of the patella can also be a bázisa is, a patella alap is lehet. Tuberosity of tibia, which is down here basically. Igen, a 300 ban tuberosit tesz tibia. Oh, in the total ligament, in the whole length of the ligament, ah, in the patella ligament. Ah, vagy az egész uh, szalad a ligamentum. What is this? <laughs> Repetitively jumping, particularly vertical, seems to be a significant pre pre factor in patella tip syndrome. So if you do a lot of jumping straight up, it's very often seen in them. And he's doing that. He's jumping straight because he's playing volleyball. So he goes to the net and jumps. Yeah. 
Tehát ráadásul kemény találjon történik többnyire az ugrálás, meg akkor sem megtalálni. Treatment procedures is again, find the most tender spot. A legfájdalmasabb pont megtalálása. Apply the shockwave. It is not difficult. It is not... Oh, I'll take this afterward. It is not difficult at all. You can switch on the line again. Thanks. Come over and uh, sit down if you lie on your back. On the back. It's very good. Just swing your feet. So, I'm going to tell you that I'm a good player, but I'm not a good player. 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 Tehát egy éves után követés messze nincs, és azt mondta, hogy sokkal jobban van, tehát mondjuk a vizuális skálán szerintem 20%-nál a több panasza, de azért köszönte szépen, ha még egy picit kezeljük, mert de azt mondta, hogy lényegesen jobb. Tehát én keveset látok sajnos, meg én azt mondom, hogy sajnos, hogy szerencsére, de minden esetre, mivel hálás területén szélesen látnék többet, de kevesen bukkanak. Fel. Pár nap az amelyikben ilyen keretes volt. A gumihenger, de jó. A gumihenger, de hol a gumihenger? Kezdődben. Ja, jön a pár nap egyébként. Nehezen találják. Na, there is actually a difference on his on his patellas here. Egy ide, nehéz van. Ezt meg fognád nekem nézni? Persze, persze. Ezt nem bírnak megtalálni egy gumipárnát. Oké, listen up, Gábor. Now, just to figure out where he has the most pain here. It is not difficult in this case, but what I want to do is that I want to make sure that it's not a detectable tuberosity here. A tuberozitas tibiét ö, ö, kopogtatja meg, hogy elkopogtatja. What do we normally see here? Of course, let us, isn't it? Now, he hasn't had that, because we would have noticed that. That would... Oh! This is super! Very good. Nem bírtak meg találni. Now, and he doesn't have any pain in this patella ligament either. Look at that, I can palpate the patella ligament with no pain. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push the patella a little bit forward. Already there he has some pain.